right, we've got one more video here of Lily, um, who is wandering around group living this morning, and she spent the night out all night uh, with Yo-Yo's, the one talking and making a lot of noise, although Lily's talking a little bit too. Um, and <laughs> that sounds kind of risque. Um, but sometimes if the cat's not 100% comfortable, I like to leave them out overnight with either no other cats or maybe one other cat so they can just start to feel a little bit more comfortable in this environment. Now when I came in this morning, she was hiding in the shower stall. Um, and you can look, she's looking at Yo-Yo and she's just kind of suspicious. Um, so my guess is, we, you know, we were told she lived with other cats before. Um, my guess is this gal's really going to be best as an only cat. I think maybe she got in, was intimidated or um, wasn't always treated as well as she could have been by the other cats. Um, here she's going to sniff noses. So another cat is not out of the question, but it would be really uh, important, I think, for it to be a very easy laid-back cat that wouldn't um, threaten her, terrorize her, make her feel nervous at all. And basically this is a very sensitive cat. So that's that's really evidenced by the fact, for example, this morning she was hiding in the shower stall, sitting in a comfortable area on some towels that are in there. Now she's hissing at Yo-Yo. Um, and of course he's trying to hug the camera. But, um, you know, she had the whole this whole large area all to herself and um, well not all to herself with Yo-Yo with but still plenty of space for two cats and yet she was still hiding and Yo-Yo and certainly not the type at all to intimidate her or or be unkind to her so just showing me she's a very sensitive gal so for that reason alone um, and that goes somewhat with Declawed and it goes somewhat with Snowshoe um, wonderful cat but needs quiet home needs a lot of attention um you know no i mean she'd probably be okay with a dog no huge bouncy barking crazy overwhelming dog um and certainly cat friendly dog and uh you know an older child probably fine i think young kids are a very busy active household again would also be overwhelming for her certainly a one-on-one -on -one relationship or one-on-two -on -two, one person one cat one cat two people certainly that would work very well for her too stable household not a lot of moving activity big dinner parties things like that is probably also going to be beneficial for her um, and you know she should be ready to go next weekend very nice cat very good health very good habits here um, so I, I look forward to talking to those of you in line for her and seeing who she matches up with.